Hello, YouTubers. This is Roxanne, and I want to thank you for joining my ghost box session today. Today, I'm going to reach out and try to contact a convicted criminal and cult leader, Charles Manson. Uh, Charles Manson was the head of the Manson family, and uh, he plotted to start a race war, and... Um, he also, he was uh, convicted of first degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder for the death of seven people. And uh, that prosecution uh, was because he uh, literally ordered the murders uh, to uh, take place. So I'm going to see if, um, if Mr. Manson will uh, speak with us. He was born November the 12th, 1934. In Cincinnati, Ohio, and he passed over November the 19th, 2017, in Bakersfield, California. I'll be using an EM pump to generate some energy, and I'll, I'll, I am also using the S Box Ghost Scanner. Let me get this started. I'm, I'm trying to read Charles Manson, born Charles Miles Maddox, Mr. Manson, if you would please speak to us. My name is Roxanne, and I am a paranormal investigator. I'm doing research to see what life is like on the other side. And I would, and I would greatly appreciate it. If you could tell me what things are like for you. <laughs> Mr. Manson, I see that you were born in Cincinnati, Ohio. Is it uh, true that you grew up in uh, Kentucky? I grew up until the age of 12 in Kentucky. It was a, bit, it was a very beautiful state. It's my understanding that um, times were very difficult for you. I can understand your anger issues. I think it's, um, really sad that they had to turn into something so violent towards innocent people. I know that when you were here on Earth, you um, you didn't show any remorse towards the victims. How do you feel about it now? You did spend most of your life in prison. Is 
Is your afterlife any better? The transition from uh, from going to a life on Earth to going where you find yourself now. Can you describe any of that? I know that might sound very invasive. Very invasive, um, but it's kind of my job to uh, to try to find these things out. I think everyone wants to know about the afterlife. I'm sure it's different for different people. I just want to ask you, what is it like for you? Mr. Manson, if you were able to do things over, is there anything you would do differently? And if so, what would that be? Well, Mr. Manson, I am going to uh, I'm going to wrap this session up. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long. If you have spoken to us, I want to say thank you. Is there anything you want to say to the world from where you are now? Well, I'm going to say uh, thank you, Mr. Manson, if you have spoken. I want to thank any other spirits who may have spoken as well. I really appreciate it if you could get, you know, if you have given us an insight into um, what your world is like now. I'm going to say goodbye now. Well, several things came through. I know a lot of it was um, radio interference. Uh, I can I can tell. I kind of know our, our local radio stations here. But uh, I'm going to get all that radio interference cut out. I'm going to um, take the static out of uh, the session and amplify any messages that make sense and uh, put them out there for you to review them. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments. Uh, let me know if you think we got anything good. Uh, tell me if you hear something that I missed. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, it'll you know, also put it out there for uh, other people to discuss and uh, listen for as well. Uh, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also, ring the little bell to be notified of future Ghost Box sessions. I want to thank you very much for your time. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and stay safe out there.